Relax. How many lives do you have to relax? Relax, just do nothing. The first 15 years were terrible. Bored to death. It's like the whole relax side is done for the rest of my life. It's done. My name is Ramdan Twami. I live in Paris and I'm the owner of L'Office Universal Bully and a few other businesses. Voilà, this is what I do. I grew up in the countryside, actually far from everywhere. I was uh, like the one with always had the teacher say he has a huge potential, but he does shit. I was not allowed to go to any school in this region that like I had to go to boarding school. I, I was the highest level of blacklisted student. I've never smoked any hashish in my life, but in France you call hashish tushi. But everyone at that time I was, was smoking and said, I'm going to do a t-shirt for them. I'm going to do my t-shirt. I drew this t-shirt, did the print. To Shiland. And it became... I was producing between one or 2,000 t-shirts a month. So, uh, it was pretty big, yeah. At that time, my parents found out I was not going to school anymore. So, uh, I had a big beef with my parents and I, and I had to leave the house and uh, I became homeless in Paris. You know when you know what is it to be homeless, you're not scared. Uh, people are always scared to lose something. You yeah, know what is to have nothing, don't it's okay, don't worry, I know it's okay. You can have fun too. It's gonna be tougher, but it's gonna be okay, don't, no compromise. When you're homeless, the most important thing is never sit on the floor. Doc. If you sit, you're fucked. I don't want to be bored. Some people say, we're going to try to do better, good quality. No, you know, try. You have to do it. This is the first thing after the rest will follow. It's coming from Shintoism. Though. It's everything about uh, doing what bad quality, useless thing is considered as a little death in Shintoism. It's very important. The speed, the stress, everything, when you push the door, things change. It's a place where you can buy uh, perfume uh, and beauty secrets from all over the world. It's found by a guy called Jean-Vincent Bully. It's one product. It was a hair product called the Vinaigre de Bully. And from that, I developed the rest. And now we have 900 products. I have stores in England, in the US, Japan, Denmark. Korea, Taiwan, Hong Kong, France, of course. It's just the beginning. Everything is me. It's very funny to go to a place, all the ideas is yours. Every packaging, every design, the store itself, the floor, the ceiling, the calligraphy, the web wrap, everything is one person. Ramdan Touami, c'est 100 000 idées à la seconde et c'est très difficile de le suivre, mais c'est très intéressant. Au Bully, I say, guys, he has to look like that. Donc, because I control the money and the artistic, no one fucking tell me what to do. Donc, I straight, bam! There's no one who's gonna say, oh, I don't like it, let's do that. No. The mini bari it comes from the north of Japan, from the region of Nagano, and it's uh, very unique because they are completely handmade. And uh, also, this wood it comes from a tree that has been grown for nearly 300 years. And they are the artisans that they do it one by one, and it takes quite a long time. So I, I would say that you have a piece of art. What's well, so interesting on Birkenshaw was 1998. I saw them in New York. I didn't like it at the beginning, but uh, the problem of beer contract, you have to make them. When it goes comfortable, you're addicted. There's a community of people who has uh, wear Birkenstock in Paris, and we are recognizing ourselves. It's very strange, we understand each other. It's a kind of community who has the same uh, values.
Compromises? Why you compromise? To make who happy? Compromise? I don't understand this word actually. I do understand it, but it doesn't work with me. Where are all the pears? <laughs> I have to ask my wife. Pourquoi il n'y a pas les cuirs, les velours, les trucs, les bleus, les trucs, les fourrures bleues, elles sont où, les cuirs noirs, les cuirs trucs, les marrons